Hi guys, this is SuperBlue3 and today we're continuing our playthrough of Valkyria Chronicles. This is Mission 5. Um, we're going to just go through quickly through this text. Now, in this mission, you're going to have absolutely loads of CP to get the mission done. And frankly, you're going to have excess time to get extra points and do other stuff. Now, first up, we're going to position our units. We're going to have Alicia, another scout and Rosie at the front. The reason we're going to have two scouts at the front is if one dies, but I don't plan on letting that happen. If you're unlucky and that does happen, um, yeah, uh, then you're going to have to use your backup. Now, the ones at the bottom don't really matter, just make sure Lar goes in there because I'm pretty sure he gives you an extra command point for just being in your team. And now we're going to deploy our troops. Operation Cloudburst is set to take down the bridgehead as quickly as possible. Now Squad we seven. are going to be using a secret route, which is actually marked on the map um, as an alternate path. Which, if you look here, you'll see where the arrow's pointing. It's showing that we can actually get the troops from behind. Now if we go that way, where the arrow is pointing, you'll see that there's this wall. We can breach this wall and actually get through and just get straight to the camp. Now we're going to use Alicia to do that. Okay. Enemy unit spotting. We There's a few ways of doing this. I don't particularly want any of my troops to be lost. Um, but if that happens, it does happen and just don't stress about it. Because the thing is, there's up to three tanks that could just end up firing at you, if not more than that. Um, it's kind of unfortunate, but that's what you're going to have to deal with now. We're going to use a grenade with Alicia, and we're going to throw it over this wall. I'm just debating whether what order I do things in a second ago. Now that wall's taken care of. There's that tank there which I don't particularly want to be seen by, so I'm just going to hide back here. And now we're going to use Rosie to run all the way up. A lot of people aren't going to be fans of Rosie at this point in the game because she would have annoyed a lot of us. Uh, with some of her dialogue being relatively offensive. Let's do this thing. But she is a decent soldier. During war, we shouldn't really make our judgments on whether someone is being mean and offensive in general. She's also got this great and helpful ability, strong world. So when she runs into enemy gunfire, she seems to improve her stats or something along those lines. This guy's not in cover so we can finish him off pretty easily. Now, this is where I would suggest ending your turn. And just let the enemy do their thing. Now, this way, if we do it like that, we're going to have absolutely loads of excess turns. Which means, if anything goes wrong, and we don't get a chance to use our scouts or anything. Um, technically we can with just Rosie actually take that camp we won't even need a second character um, I'm gonna just quickly explain what things you can do for bonus points as well well let's see how well this turn goes as you can see we're kind of out of enemy fire so they can't really do a lot to us Okay, anyway, so enemy's turn's gone. We don't seem to have taken any damage, and we seem to be good, actually. Yep, we're actually doing really well here. Okay, so with Rosie, we're going to run up. Ain't no stopping me! New target sighted! 
we're going to take care of this guy here. Now we want to avoid being hit by the guy on the uh, opposite side of the road there. Let's do this thing. So we're kind of taking a roundabout route to him. Now I'm going to see if we can get this grenade thrown at him, but I don't know if we can actually score a hit on the guy. Yeah, it looks a bit awkward. So I'm going to try and throw it. Because if it does destroy the sandbags, which it did, at least we've um, taken care of how much shots it takes to kill him, which should make life just a little bit easier. And there's a scout behind him who shouldn't be a problem whatsoever. So he's down and out. Now I would like to point out, with Rosie I can take that there and then, right now. We're just going to try and get some extra points. So, with Freesia. Now remember, if depending on how things go, you might do things differently there. But with Freesia I just want to take this camp, because that should earn us some extra experience. I'm also going to just shoot these tanks because we've taken them out. I'm not sure if that gets us points or not again. But I quite like the idea of doing that. Anyway, so what we'll do now is we're going to use Rosie again. We're going to take out this dude in front of us. And we're going to take the camp and we're done and, uh, and that's done and we got a rank A easily there uh, we're just gonna make sure you see the post operation screen so you can see that for yourself I mean the reason you have to split up over two turns is just because of how far a shock trooper can actually run so there you go there's that A rank very easily done then you c you've got enough points there if you want to get rack up some more kills and get more bonus points. Anyway guys, thanks for watching. Until next time, bye.